Oh, I didn't see you there. Hi, John O'Neill here. Um, I haven't talked to you guys in a while. We have a lot to show off for environment. It's been quite a bit since we really kind of showed anything really new. Um, so I'll get right to it. So here is our one of our first parcels that we've created. And what a parcel is, is basically the building blocks for the campaign and EK. And they're made up of individual little cells that are 200 and uh, 56 by 256 meters. So this is just a one cell and it's populated with, this is kind of what we would refer to as like a little bit of a grasslands. It's got some rocks and some grass. And so this would be something you might roll up on um, and just not very heavily populated basically. But I can go ahead and change that by adding in some trees. And now we have a forest land. So basically what's gonna be really cool is we're going to be able to generate a bunch of these little land pieces that in the EK you'll be able to put together yourself and in the campaign they'll be put together automatically, kind of procedurally generated. So uh, the campaigns will feel very different every time. So I've loaded up a much larger parcel piece. This is something that would be for a buildable area. This is designed to be much larger that you would place in your EK and then put some of those smaller pieces around it. So this would be something for you to build like a keep or a castle on. And we've got a large buildable space for just that. And I went, I've gone ahead and assembled a keep just kind of like that, the one that we have in the EK. But this has everything that would go into a level like this. We've got our, our props like the rocks and the trees and the grass, grass cards, uh, the water is in. Uh, the time of day and so, so when we play this is something closer to what you'll see in game. So the goal and the end result is to give us the ability to procedurally generate um, all these terrains out to a certain degree. Uh, so there's a little bit of handcrafting in the beginning, there's some generation of terrain assets like grass and rocks and, and, and trees so that we can quickly get these uh, generated for the campaigns so that it feels like it's fresh and new every time, as well as making custom pieces for the EK. So what we're looking at right now is uh, the current state of the Eternal Kingdom's builder tool. Each one of these little pieces, these little, little Tetris-shaped pieces, um, are called parcels. Users will be able to move their parcels around and make up all sorts of different world shapes. Uh, and then from there, they'll have kind of a higher level um, interface that's available to them that will let them carve up the world into different regions and every region can have its own uh, set of rules and restrictions um, so that you know you really can make this thing feel like a, a, a really unique uh, living breathing world uh, so you'll see a lot of this stuff isn't isn't fully hooked up yet but eventually you'll have all of your available parcel types um, in this library down here and you will drag the parcels into your world and from there you can uh, move things around just like Tetris you've got full control over the orientation of your pieces. I can rotate pieces, I can move things around. If you want to get a little closer in there just to kind of see, you know, and find detail where you might want to put a forest. So a parcel and it's in, in the world can actually belong to multiple users. So you as the as the king of your kingdom can segment the kingdom into different regions. And within those regions, uh, you can then uh, allow other users to control them as like a, like a duke or a baron, and then um, different rules can apply within that region. So really, if you're walking through your world as a player, you could cross the lines from one region to the next, and the conditions of the game could be wildly different. So we're hoping that um, you know that in conjunction with uh, the the different parcel shapes and the different parcel properties uh, can really make for a lot of really interesting combinations. Um, so we're hoping that people uh, spend a lot of time in this side of the game just playing around and seeing what's possible. When you're done editing, uh, you'll be able to save off your world, which will send it to our servers, and then we'll create all the maps, and then you can run around in it. So, after John made his parcels, they're saved in special scenes, and let me show you. So I got those two test parcels from John. One is a, a grass cell, this is how it looks like, and another one is a mountain ridge. This is how it looks like. 
So I have those parcels in my system and uh, I made a couple tools that allow me to create campaign based on those parcels. So let's say uh, I go ahead and uh, start a new campaign. So this is uh, the grass parcel. You can drop two of them. I can line them up. And then I can make, drop this mountain parcel. I can line it up too. And say I rotate it 90 degrees. So I can create my campaign by dropping the parcels here and aligning them one way and another. And right now I only have two types of the parcels, but obviously we'll have more of them. And uh, so here you go, I just took a bunch of parcels, I lined them up, and then I created a campaign wall. So uh, let me save it. Now I can go and test my wall how it looks like in game. So I'm switching this in here. So I have a bunch of campaigns made, and this is mine that I just created. And. And there you go. This is my character and just created a campaign. So I'm standing on a grass plane and I see this mountain ridge. And uh, if we look in our scene, that's that's how it looks like. This is a mountain ridge surrounded by grasses. So this is basically the simple way to create our uh, campaign right now. Uh, it will get more complicated as we get more tools, uh, tools improvement and, and more parcels to play around with. But uh, the basic of functionality is already here. So this is the campaign I just created. And uh, if you played our Hunger Dome, uh, you know that the landscape how it looks like. And uh, for that one, I had recreated the Hunger Dome as a separate campaign. So this is our Hunger Dome uh, landscape, which in fact is four different parcels. Okay, and if we compare them to what the campaign just created, that's what its size it is. And the campaign of Hunger Dome looks like that. So my new campaign is about four times smaller. But size doesn't really matter in this case because I just, my parcels are smaller. If you have more parcels or bigger parcels, you can assemble whatever campaign we want. And I can as well just go ahead and, uh, and run that campaign, uh, Hunger Dome campaign. Our Hunger Dome is right now around 16 by 16 tiles, but we changed the parcel ties in between. The campaign wall, it all, it all depends. We, we, we actually do not limit us how big they are, but we can create Whatever configuration we want, we can make them really small and then put everybody in the tight quarters fighting each other. Or we can uh, make it really big and, and put a lot of exploration uh, things to do in that campaign. Yes.